So, the first one, class one testing. Our appliance is connected, we now press class one button and you can see on the screen we have three test sequences. The earth bond, the insulation and the load test. In the middle column is where we'll receive our results. In the far right hand column is our pass limits. These are set but can be altered by the user in the setup. We press the test button. The counter counts down. We're carrying out an earth bond test. There's our earth bond result. We have a green banner to indicate a pass. The insulation test is being carried out. Once again, we have a green banner to indicate a pass. We then press the OK button to carry out the load test. There's our final results, all green banners, and at the bottom you can see asset has passed. Great, so now let's look at class two testing. Once again our appliance is plugged in, we now select class two, and again you'll notice on the screen we now have two test sequences. We have our insulation, our load, once again the results will appear in the middle and the limits on the far right hand side. Again we press the test button, the counter is counting down from five seconds, there's our insulation result with a green banner, we press the OK button to initiate the load test, counting down, there's our result, a green banner again, and asset has passed. So that's a class 2 test done, where as well as appliances, we also have a function for testing extension leads. Let's now look at that one. To test our extension lead, we take it, plug it into the pack tester. We then take our special IEC lead, which is supplied, plug it into the end of the extension, and then back into the IEC port on the pack tester. We press the extension lead button. Once again on the screen, you can see we have an earth bond test, an insulation test. This time we have a polarity test. Our results will appear in the middle of the screen once again. We press our test button. The counter is counting down again. We are now doing our earth bond test. We have a green banner, the earth bond has passed. Insulation test has passed and the polarity has passed. Testing an IEC lead, we take the plug into the top of the pack tester and back round into our IEC port. And finally, we have one more function which will allow us to test our RCD plugs. Testing RCD plugs, we take the RCD, plug it into the pack tester, once again we take our supplied IEC lead, that goes into the RCD, and then the IEC lead goes into the pack tester. To initiate the test, we press the RCD button, you can now see on the screen we're faced with four testing sequences. The first one is for the test button on the RCD plug. Then we'll do the half times I, we'll then do the one times I on the zero degrees and 180 degrees, we'll then do a five times I, zero and 180 degrees again. First thing we do, press the test button, reset the RCD, and then press the test button on the RCD plug. You can now see that that has done the test and passed. We reset the RCD and straight away we're now doing the half times test. We move straight into the one times I test on the 0 and 180 degrees. It's carried those tests out. We reset the RCD and we'll now do the 0 and 180 degree test 
on the five time zone. And we now have pass. Obviously, when carrying out portable appliance testing, you need to ensure that the fuse in the plug top is intact. In order to achieve this, the PAT300 series have a fuse checker built onto the display. Simply take your fuse, place it onto the fuse checker, remove it, and that proves that the fuse is intact. Throughout this product demonstration, we've talked about certain parameters that can be altered by the user. I'll briefly show you how to do that now. From the home screen, if you select the setup, you can see we have a small group of instructions there. Lead null, we've already been through. I'll show you the quick test very briefly. We have the insulation test time, the earth bond test time, the load test time, and the leakage time. All these go from one second to continuous. Once again by selecting the setup, this time we select test group keys. I'll show you the class one. And you can see there we have the insulation test time, the insulation pass limit, the insulation test type, and then the same for the bond and the load test time. You'll see with the class 2 it's very similar. That concludes our demonstration of the PAT 300 series. As with all mega products, these PAT testers come with free lifetime technical support. For any further questions, please contact our technical support group on 01304 502 102. Alternatively, you can email them on ukSupport at mega.com. If you'd like to purchase one of these testers or any mega tester, then please visit one of our approved distributors. That's either a test instrument specialist, wholesaler or catalogue company. A list of these can be found at www.mega.com. Thanks for watching.